Well, good morning and welcome everyone to the Connect for Health Colorado Health Insurance Boot Camp for Small Business Owners. Before we start, we encourage you to drop any questions into chat now and throughout this morning's presentation. We'll try to uh, get to every question that we can at the end. Um, so one of the things that can adversely impact our businesses is the lack of health care. If we or our employees have no health insurance, it can affect our ability to work and grow our businesses. That's why today's boot camp is so critical. So you can learn more about how to access health insurance in the most affordable ways possible. So it is my pleasure to introduce the CEO of Connect for Health Colorado, Kevin Patterson, to share a few words about today's presentation and the work of his organization. Kevin? Thanks, Ann. Really appreciate the opportunity to speak with uh, you and your um, constituency. So again, my name's Kevin. Um, I'm CEO of Connect for Health. It is open enrollment season for us from now until January 15th. Really appreciate everybody that was able that's able to join us today to learn more about how Connect for Health Colorado, our state's official uh, insurance marketplace, the Obamacare place, uh, can help you. Uh, as a small business owner or freelancer, we know you have a lot to manage running a business. You don't need to understand all the ins and outs and ins and outs of health insurance. Connect for Health has you covered. Um, you know our certified experts uh, review all of your options with no cost to you. Uh, they'll also walk your employees through all of their options and make sure they're getting the financial help that they qualify for at no cost to them. One of those experts is here with us today, James Douglas of Soul to Soul Benefits. Uh, and he will be able to share some details of these plans, some ICRA solutions, how you can access them, available tax credits, and determine if you might qualify for financial help to help lower the cost of your premiums. Thanks again for joining us uh, again today. And James, take it away. All right, well, good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm incredibly uh, honored and excited to be here today. It is, uh, it's going to be a great overview, high level, uh, kind of just, this is our agenda. We're, we're going to really dive into kind of who is Connect for Health Colorado. Uh, the tax credits are going to be available to uh, you, the business owner, as well as your employees. Um, and, and so we're going to, you know, cover everything from individual to small group uh, to uh, really all the options that you do have as business owners and individuals. Um, we'll go through some real life examples. Uh, the ability to kind of make an educated decision relies upon uh, being educated. And so I hope that the, the information that I share here with you today uh, makes a lot of sense. Um, the group insurance, uh, I guess, right, what is group insurance, right? We'll go through what that uh, entails and how it works and how it has worked, as well as the strategies um, that I'll really say I'll, I'll probably spend a fair amount of time on the family glitch because it does. Um, there are a lot of strategies, but a lot of opportunities for uh, family members and and individuals to really get health insurance and leverage the tax credits. Um, as Kevin shared, the open enrollment season began uh, November 1st, but it is going now through January 15th. Uh, next slide, please. All right. So who is Connect for Health Colorado? Uh, when Obamacare or the Affordable Care Act passed, uh, the ability or the place that people would go get health insurance from was the marketplace. And so for states that did not create their own health insurance marketplace, they use healthcare.gov, whereas Colorado, we did, right? And C Kevin is the CEO of that uh, state exchange here in Colorado. And so they are Colorado's official health insurance marketplace. Uh, you can think of it as a, a mega insurance superstore, if you will. Uh, it is the only place that people can get tax credits to pay for their health insurance. Uh, when you're looking at who you should reach out to, just know that there are certified brokers, certified experts within uh, Connect for Health Colorado. They, right, uh, well, technically, they have certified experts uh, within, and then they partner with brokers like myself to uh, really explain all the ins and outs of the legislation in your unique situation. Uh, so you will have the ability to compare plans side by side, uh, filter by carrier based on uh, what you need, networks and things like that. And I will dive into that in just a little bit. Next slide. 
All right. So financial help. Uh, there are two subsidies that you are eligible for or can be eligible for. You do need to qualify. And so the first one there on the left is something called advanced premium tax credits. And those are based on your age, your zip code, your income. And what those tax credits do is they lower your monthly premium. And so uh, I'll share an example, but the second subsidy is something called the cost share reductions. And so those are also based on your age, uh, zip code and income. But what those subsidies do is they actually lower your co-pays, your deductibles and your maximum amount of pockets. And I have some uh, really cool uh, outlines to, to walk through with us here today. And so the two scenarios that I have here are two 63 year olds. Uh, the couple on the bottom makes 49,000 and the couple on top makes 120,000. And so I chose these examples because it, it they're pretty dramatic, um, but they are very real. And so I'll start with the couple making 49,000. Um, they are based out of the 80751 zip code uh, or county, I should say, and that is Logan County. Uh, but they make $49,000 a year. And so what this is telling us is that their tax credit, their estimated tax credit until they enroll, it's not official, and is $2,692 per month. And so you can see the number just above that is $2,852.76. And so that is the total cost of the plan, but because of their tax credits, they're actually only responsible for $160.76. And, and so whenever you read the name within a health insurance plan, you're kind of looking for a few key factors, um, right? The name of the carrier, so Anthem. The uh, silver uh, signifies the tier of plan that is selected. So in Colorado, we have bronze, silver, and gold. And then uh, the network of the plan. And so the plans that we're looking at here, it's the same plan. Uh, it's the Pathway HMO. And so that's that's the network within the name of the plan. So they go on to say that the $5,000 number represents the deductible on the plan. And uh, it states that it's $0 select drugs. So why that's important. The couple on the bottom making 49,000, they are eligible for something called cost share reductions. And those cost share reductions have taken that $5,000 deductible and have reduced it down to $100 for the annual year. And so that's incredible. Like, and yes, you do have to qualify for it based on age, zip code, income, uh, and things like that. But these subsidies are out there. And if you, I mean, if you don't know, you should definitely find out uh, if you are eligible for them. This plan typically has an $8,000 maximum out of pocket. And again, because of those cost share reductions, they have been reduced down to $750 for an individual for the full year. Um, so now I'm going to switch up to the, the couple on top. That couple makes $120,000. And it's the same couple, same demographics, but they're still eligible for $2,003 in tax credits based on that $120,000 a year income. So if you think you make too much money, it does not hurt to check. Um, the tax credits have increased over um, the years and especially the last three. And so the plan cost is still the same. That's what I really want you to pay attention to. Even though they make more money, it's not like the plan costs more. Um, the plan cost is the plan cost. It is tied to your age and your zip code. Uh, so in this scenario, that couple making 120,000 is responsible for the 849.76. They do have the $5,000 annual deductible per individual. That is because they are not eligible for those cost share reductions. And then they do have the $8,000 max out of pocket. Next slide. All right. So Offering your employees access to affordable coverage, right, allows for you as the business owner to keep and retain the best talent out there. And so use it as a tool. It is a benefit. And the best way to, to do that is to understand what are your employees eligible for based on what, right, they are being paid by you or their household size or things like that. And so as a certified expert, um, you know, I will provide to your employees the free information uh, and, and the options that they do have in terms of what's available. And it's it, that may be right what's best for them, which is phenomenal, but let's talk about what's best for you. And that might be 
a small group plan. But what we've seen over the years, most recent years, is that small group plans have been increasing in double digit percentages. And that's kind of rough. And so we can talk about what that looks like here in Colorado. We can talk about HRA uh, health reimbursement arrangement solutions, as well as stipends um, with uh, no cost. Next slide. All right. So the types of insurance right across the top, you're going to see individual, small and large group level funding. Um, the acronyms at the end are HRAs. And so the QSE is Qualified Small Employer HRA. And then the IC HRA is the Individual Coverage Health Reimbursement Arrangement. And so uh, I'll dive into those in, in, into more detail in just a little bit. But understand if you don't have Medicaid or Medicare or don't get your insurance from your employer, then you absolutely need a place to go. And so that individual piece there is for self-employed individuals or people between jobs or even small business owners who um, are, are, are just looking to find the most affordable options. And then if you are currently working for uh, a business that does not offer, then you're able to, to right, find out if you're eligible for tax credits. Um, if you're working as a contractor, if you're working part-time, these are uh, some of the individuals that should come look and uh, see if they're eligible. All right, so what is group health insurance? Um, group health insurance is essentially uh, offered and provided to the employees, typically the employees or members of an organization. And uh, it's really just a way for individuals to get health insurance benefits uh, through their employers. And the employer typically helps them pay for that plan. Uh, the percentage that uh, most employers typically see if they're fewer than 50 employees is kind of a mixed bag, but if uh, they are an applicable large employer, which means they have more than 50 employees, uh, then they pay at least 50% of the plan. And um, when you're looking at the pressures of that uh, for a business owner to design the benefit, to uh, make sure that the co-pays are where the employees want them to be, or to make sure that the deductibles are where the employees would like them to be, it's kind of a lot of pressure. And so, uh, right, the business owner takes on a lot of responsibility. And to Kevin's point earlier, uh, you did not start your business to become a healthcare expert. And so lean on the people who live in this realm uh, to help you kind of navigate what's going on. And, and if group cost is too high, great, let's look at a different solution. If, uh, if an ICRA, an ICHRA is, is great for you, then phenomenal. Let's look at what that looks like as well. Uh, next slide, please. All right, so what is an ICRA? Um, when you're looking at group coverage, like I just described, right, it puts a lot of pressure on the business owner to, to design the perfect benefit. Well, an ICRA allows for the employer to des design the perfect contribution based on what they would like to give to their employees. And so rather than picking a plan benefit design or even a specific carrier, that you would like to offer through, the employer is able to select a dollar amount. And so let's just say the employer wants to contribute $300 a month to their employees. Their employees would then be able to take those tax-free funds, that tax-free $300, and go pick whatever health insurance plan is available to them based on their zip code. And so if the employee went to go buy a $400 plan, then they are responsible for the additional 100 and that additional 100 can be payroll deducted on a pre-tax basis out of the employee's check, the same as group insurance. And so there are no minimum participation requirements. Um, you know, they are for employers of all sizes. Um, I think I might have an example in here of uh, the sizes that I, I currently work with. Um, I help employers all the way down to uh, the size of two. And, and right, they have an ICRA and I've helped uh, a very large um, Native American tribe up in Montana, and that was 246. Um, I have, I'm currently quoting uh, a 855 life ICRA based out of Georgia. And um, just recently, yesterday, I was down in uh, Costilla County and a, right, the county of Costilla decided to put an ICRA in place for their employees. And if there is time to kind of walk down uh, into what that looks like, I will uh, happily share some details on that. But you as the business owner have the ability to contribute uh, the $300 to the full-time and the $150 to the part-time. 
Uh, there are 11 classes that you can strategize with. So if you wanted to give your salaried employees a different um, contribution amount, you can do that and then put a structure in place that says, hey, if you're with the company for three years, you can become salaried and then you would be eligible for that greater contribution per month. Uh, ICRAs do work alongside Medicare. And so those employees are eligible for the reimbursements that they are, they're eligible for the reimbursements for their uh, Part B and well, MAPDs, uh, their, their supplemental. So ICRAs are very flexible. Um, a lot of the times people try and overcomplicate them. Uh, and I, I listened to a, a really successful individual and they said, if you can't explain it in a simple manner, you don't understand it. Uh, and so if you decided to give someone $300 per month as a business owner and they only spent $250 of it, they do not get the additional $50. That stays with you, the business owner. Next slide, please. All right. Um, covering your employees' family. So I love this because uh, without giving you a very long, boring history lesson, uh, before 2023, if the employer offered to the employee at an affordable rate, which the percentage changes over years, but if the employer offered to the employee affordably and then they charged $2,000 a month to have the spouse on and even more money to have uh, the children on, because it was affordable to the employee, they met the requirements to offer affordably and those family members were not eligible for tax credits. And so we called that the family glitch. And uh, I call that the old way. <laughs> and so moving into 2023, now if the employer offers affordably to the employee, that is phenomenal and they should do that. Uh, but they can choose to design a benefit where they're contributing only to the employee uh, in an affordable manner, which allows for the spouse and dependents to now go to Connect for Health Colorado and be eligible for tax credits all based on that household income. And so uh, the family glitch has been quote unquote fixed and uh, by offering to your employee in that affordable manner and really as an employee only benefit, you're really helping out the household and understanding what they are eligible for uh, within their family household. And so um, make, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, you're good. Go ahead. The uh, making educated decisions for your business is uh, truly what I am here to help you guys understand what is possible, help you guys understand what do things look like, make an appointment with me. That's my email. That's my website. Um, you can actually jump onto my calendar there. It is open enrollment. And so uh, we might, that's my cell phone. Send me a text. We'll, we'll make it, we'll, we'll set it up. <laughs> But thank you for your time, uh, and I look forward to uh, meeting you guys in person. And um, if you if you're curious, right, reach out, have a conversation, and and let's go over the solutions, right? It's not going to cost you anything to find out uh, what's the best strategy for you and your employees. It's not going to cost you anything to find out what's the best strategy for you as a business owner. So I appreciate the the time today. Uh, I'll kick it back over to. Uh, uh, Ann, and uh, I hope for, I look forward to seeing you soon. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much, James. Actually, I, I've um, taken a little bit of notes here. <laughs> so I, I appreciate you. And I, you know, it is a, an area I feel that as small business owners, we do get a little lost when it comes to what exactly, you know, can we offer? Um, and you're right. It's, it's, we did not get into business to understand <laughs> you know, health insurance. And so anything like this um, that you shared is just, um, just really helpful. So I, I do look forward to um, meeting up with you again. I would like to uh, actually see if we can get you connected to a few people. So thank you so much for sharing your information. And Kevin, thank you so much for being here as well. We appreciate you um, sharing your time. And uh, again, if you have any questions, please reach out to James. As you can see on the screen, he does have his phone number and his his um, email as well as, did you say that's a Calendly link there? Yep, they can access my calendar. Perfect. All right. Well, thank you again so much, everyone. Have a great day.